Welcome back everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I'm keeping it quiet here behind me. There's actually this. Some ducks have moved in down there recently and I think they're starting to nest. And I don't I don't wish to scare them away. Want well, I mean quite the opposite actually. <laughs> um and there's some geese somewhere, Canada geese. But we are out here today. We don't have any motorized tools. We're just gonna prune, basically. I don't want to disrupt anything. Oof, it's a cold breeze. Disrupt their life at all, the beaver's life at all. Quite the opposite there, too. <laughs> um, but I do want a, I want a viewing area. So I'm just going to kind of prune a bit so I can see see there. They come out here and they this is where they swim and hang out. I like to watch that at night. Days are getting longer. Thank goodness. So I'll come out here and chill and watch them and when the sun goes down just move the chairs this way and look up. <laughs> I want to do this summer. How about you? Let me know. So yeah, I'm just gonna uh, do a little pruning. Maybe maybe trim some of this too. But uh, I'm gonna leave these out here. It's a nice pair of bushnell. I'm gonna put them in a Ziploc bag. Put it in that lunch pail that I don't need. Don't at me. I'm going to leave these camping chairs out here, set them up, and, uh, yeah. Free cable. I'm going to pause, set you up on the tripod that will probably blow over a few times. Look at going. Oh, shit. Subway tile, the beavers. <laughs> the beavers watch every fucking show on HGTV. We'll try there. I suspect it'll fall over a few times. You don't really necessarily have to see me. I want you to see the view. Listen to the birds. Not really gonna talk about much or anything at all. I wanna listen to the birds too. Not many birds though, because it is cold. Fiskars. I wanna I don't wanna make any noise. I want I want the nature to be happy out here. The nature. I want nature to be happy out here. And I brought a lawn tractor out. I didn't want to carry everything, but that's about it. Try to keep everything as low impact as possible here. Um I don't if this is going to be the last 50 plus acres 
it doesn't have solar panels on it or uh, you know housing development and you want it to be the most pristine 50 plus acres on the street measure twice cut once right let's turn you this way too it's pretty angles look like all right so I think we might be good Figure I'll just <laughs> leave all this in the pile for the beavers. Maybe they'll throw it on top of that other. Right? Do I even need to bend over? I don't. <laughs> I gotta get my shit together with this. Uh. I don't think, I don't think this whole road will become solar panels. I think, I think immediately next door will become a wildlife sanctuary, marshland, um, which is great for me, selfishly, for my view, for my view. Um, but, you know, just the rest of the field around here will become solar panels and it's good but at what cost you know I I understand it and I hate that I understand it um, but I don't think that's happening tomorrow I think I'm not thinking of tomorrow I'm trying to plan for the rest of my life <laughs> yeah the rest of my life is here so I just want this to be a zoo <laughs> a wildlife zoo I want every every mammal every mammal that Maine has I want here someone bring me a seal I'll salt I'll salt that side
I mean, the ultimate. I have the luxury. I can see ducks. Some ducks over there. I forgot I was being quiet. <laughs> I have the luxury of having land um, that my mom worked hard for after my father died. If I don't like the view, I can plant the tree. And when my neighbor Paul moved in about 20 years ago, good guy, no issues with Paul, but I planted the tree so I can't see his house, you know? Um, even though his house, by a lot of people's standards, is far away. But I'll just plant trees. Problem solved. I'll make a nature bubble for myself. Those are mallard ducks that just went by that you just heard. The official oh, I'm gonna mess everything up. So there's ducks everywhere. Hmm. So this is the beaver inlet water. And it flows out down there. So it comes from this side. And what excites me is there's we have 14 acres of woods that's i let's start at that wood line in the background i can't zoom in for whatever reason and behind that is a pond and that pond um the dam is open right now so this water level is low is the low level so my theory is, once they close that dam up, this water traditionally backs up anyways. Is this water is going to rise up with it, probably two feet, because that's what that the stream back there. There's a stream back there that rises up when they close the dam. So I'm very anxious to see what happens in the spring. But yeah, those ducks landed. There's a separate stream that runs right along the back of that wood line. And uh, they landed back there. Poof. I'll take it. I will take it. Nesting pears everywhere. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see what happens when they... And those two male dads, two males, male mallards. And so there was a nesting pair that landed that, that way. And those two male mallards landed that way. There's a nesting pair over there. My fly may be unzipped. It's broken because zippers suck nowadays. Why does no one talk about this? Zippers are terrible. They're so bad.
wild roads in here. Which is pretty and it smells nice, but it's invasive and it eats you alive. It will catch you and it slices you. It's nature's barbed wire. Let me, let me get a good piece here. Right here, hold on. So that's wild rose. This stuff eats. Look at here. Oof. I think those gloves are durable. You like that, weirdo? so far. I'm less annoyed. Seriously, no one talks about zippers. So this is going pretty quickly. The hawk, I think, somewhere. All I want is enough for two camp chairs. And probably one here, one there. So I'll leave this big old thing. All right, that's where we're at. Let me pause you, do some work. Black cat chickadees, main state bird. Let me, may lose you. Oh, no, good gust of wind here. Let's try you there. You see what I'm trying to trying to get to? I think we're just going to do a little more. I think we're just going to trim right here. Oops, sorry. You probably that granite for whatever reason. I'm going to short up the barn. Can't buy a gun. We put the old granite down here, which sucks. I don't want that. <laughs> I gotta find a way to harvest that. Let's 
see that? Yeah, this is what we're... There's a freshwater inlet. And it goes out down there. So what I was saying was I hoping behind me is what floods when they when they close the dam. So I'm just gonna trim this up, set up some chairs, see how it looks.